common accidents in the home cuts bruises sprains and fractures jim has come back home from visiting his friend paul and is limping on seeing him his mother becomes concerned hey is that blood on your foot mm, yeah i stepped on a piece of glass at paul's uh, were you playing barefoot all right let me take a look you know These accidents are very common and dangerous. But it didn't happen on the road. <laughs> Is that your definition of accidents? Know it from me that accidents occur anywhere including in the home. An accident, my son, involves any unexpected occurrence that may lead to injury to a person or even damage to property. Like what happened to me? Yes. plus many more like burns, bruises, fractures, choking, nose bleeding and fainting. All these can be prevented if appropriate measures are taken. But when it can't be helped, it is necessary to give first aid to the victim before seeking further medical attention. And that is what you're doing right now. Yep. This cut was caused by a sharp object. If not attended to as quickly as possible, it could affect the rest of your foot. Ouch. That hurts. Sorry. I am trying to clean the wound using this. What is that? An antiseptic solution, but in its absence, one can use clean water. After cleaning, I am going to cover it with a clean cotton wool. or treated gauze then wrap a bandage around it you are lucky it is not a deep cut otherwise i would have bled to death okay not necessarily to death but a lot and the first aid would have been more involving in this case you stop the bleeding by pressing a pad of cotton wool and bandage onto the wound now While cleaning the wound, wear gloves to avoid infection. Raise the wounded part in case of a limb. If bleeding persists, then tie a cloth just above the wound. Keep loosening the cloth after a few minutes to allow blood circulation and take the patient to the doctor as soon as possible. Okay, so since mine is not a deep cut, I won't have to see a doctor. Anyone with a cut, whether it is a scrape, graze, or abrasion, must go to the hospital for the anti-tetanus injection. Oh, I hate needles. Prevention is better than cure, don't you think? Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure this accident could not have occurred if the broken piece of glass was thrown away. in a pit latrine or even buried keeping the compound free from bones sharp sticks and thorns certainly helps prevent such accidents plus when handling knives care should be taken for example washing them separately from other utensils using a chopper board when cutting meat or veggies and using common sense to store knives out of reach of children. Jeez. What's going to happen to Paul? What do you mean? He hit his head on the goal post. It is swollen. Oh, that's a bruise. It is caused by bleeding inside the skin or muscle. One can get bruised when hit by blunt objects that do not break the skin, like what happened to your friend. He needs first aid too. Hmm. I guess his dad is doing just that. But I have no idea how. It is simple. Dab the bruised part with the damp cloth. Keep the injured part slightly raised to reduce blood flow and swelling mm-hmm. in the case of a limb. After 24 hours, massage it with hot water for about 3 minutes, followed by cold water for about 1 minute. Mm. Repeat this process 4 times daily until it is healed. Okay. I'm just wondering how one can avoid being hit by an object. It's easy. 
just making sure all drawers and doors are properly closed. If they are to be left open, then place a wedge to prevent them from banging. Hmm. Just be careful when you're playing soccer. I don't want you getting a sprain or a fracture. Hmm? A sprain is a tearing or stretching of ligaments in a joint, especially the wrist or ankle. They happen when you twist a joint by accident, making the joint hot and swollen. That must be very painful, I guess. You bet it is. And needs immediate attention. Mm. Okay, this is how to take care of it. Dip the injured part in very cold water or dab with a bag of ice cubes immediately to reduce the swelling and pain. This should continue for the first 12 hours. Keep the limb raised for the next 24 hours to reduce blood flow and bleeding into the joint. Meanwhile, give some pain relievers. And the pain will go away? No, I'm not yet done. After 24 hours, dip the injured part in warm water severely, mm -hmm. but do not massage. If the pain persists, consult a qualified doctor. Give light exercises to the injured part when you no longer feel the pain. Oh, but this is quite some steps, ma'am. For easy grasp, sprain treatment can also be referred to as rice. I like rice. It's my favorite food. Come on, I did not mean the food. Rice is an abbreviation. R stands for rest, I for eyes, C for compress, and E for elevate. In other words, there should be no movement, eyes should be used to compress, and the injured part should be elevated. And if it is an accident, then we can't avoid it, can we? I agree. But by ensuring you walk carefully and wear shoes of comfortable heels will help one avoid sprains. Oh, so. How would you tell um, a sprain from a fracture? Only an x-ray of the injured part can do that. A fracture is a broken bone that may be caused by a fall, a motor accident, or a heavy blow. Accidental falls are usually as a result of slippery floors with spilt water, oil, or vegetable peelings. Oh, as well as badly placed objects in the house. Correct. Fractures are of two kinds. Simple and compound fractures. In a simple fracture, the bone is broken in one place and a crack can be easily seen on an x-ray. In a compound one, the bone is broken into many pieces which may even pierce through the skin. Hmm. I am afraid this is much more painful than any other injury. Very true indeed. And this can make the limb to lose its shape. Okay, is there a first aid for this? Not much. In fact, never attempt to push back or massage the broken limb. Instead, place a straight stick and tie the broken part carefully to immobilize the limb. Carry the patient in a stretcher and seek medical attention as quickly as possible. Hmm. Okay, fractures are ugly. I don't want them to happen to me. Then, always ensure floors are kept dry, tidy, and are repaired when worn out. And the house should be well lit all the time to avoid bumping into objects. Wow. Next time my friends get an accident... I can apply these skills you've taught me, ma'am. Which are? Oh. Are you asking me for a review? You read my mind. Okay. Um, all right. Accidents are unexpected events that uh, may cause injury to a person or property. Mm -hmm. Common accidents include burns, sprains, fractures, choking, cuts, snakes, and insect bites, plus poisoning and fainting. Correct. All these accidents require first aid before the victim receives further medical attention. Mm -hmm. 
but I'd rather observe measures to prevent them rather than manage them. Splendid. Now, come help me collect and burn the rubbish in the compound. Okay. <laughs>